So I had this big script written out on how to simplify your life, uh, be frugal, minimalism, that sort of thing, and it ended up being 15 minutes. That's too long, it's counterintuitive to what I'm trying to, to present to you. So here's the bullet points. Uh, buy items of high quality. Buy once, cry once. Can you, really, can you really afford to continuously replace cheap stuff as it wears out quickly? It's gonna cost you more in the long run. If you can't remember the last time you used something, you probably need to just get rid of it, unless it's really difficult or really expensive to replace and it's useful. Um, and when I say get rid of stuff, I don't necessarily mean pitch it. I mean sell it, donate it, pass it on to someone who could use it, recycle it, upcycle it into something more useful, that sort of thing. Uh, so like for me, if I had Elmer's glue sitting on the shelf, don't know when I used it last, don't have anything I need it for in the immediate future, it's a couple of bucks just down the road, get rid of it. One item a day, so if you get rid of one item a day for a week or for a month, it's an easy way to kind of tiptoe into this and see if it works for you. You know, kind of like a, a drawn out spring cleaning. That way you can get rid of your very low value, low use junk and simplify your life. So if you have less junk to trip over, you have less stuff in your way, everything you have has value and you can see it easily, nothing's buried, you're gonna have more time to be able to use in your life um, and you're gonna spend less money on junk so you can use that money for experiences and bettering your life. Just in case stuff. Just in case I need a scrap of two by four, I'm gonna keep this. Just in case I buy an outdated laptop, I'm gonna keep this power supply. There are dumpsters full of just in case stuff when people move or when people die. And that sounds a little harsh, but what do you actually need it for? It's, it's okay to move on. Like you, if you feel the need to keep hold of everything you have ever owned or you know, where, where are all these emergencies gonna actually happen? You know, a power supply for an outdated laptop you no longer own, you're not gonna need that in an emergency. A first aid kit, I can't remember the last time I used it. Yeah, I'll keep that because it's useful in an emergency. If it's not, if it's not gonna be used in an emergency situation, you really don't need to keep it just in case. Uh, not everything needs to be useful. You can live a sort of minimalist, simplified life, but still have things that are important to you. I've got a busted up, half repaired Lionel train and a couple of cars on a piece of wood because it reminds me of, you know, playing with slot cars and model trains and stuff in the basement of my grandparents' house on Sunday lunches, you know. Uh, it has no value beyond bringing up memories for me. And I don't want to convey minimalism as turning your life into a sanitized office cubicle or a prison cell. That's not it. What my vision of minimalism is, is I only own things of value that make my life better. It, I cut through all the clutter and the stuff I don't need so I can focus on what's important in life or what the next big event or adventure is gonna be. Uh, make do and mend. That's kind of a thing that came up in uh, World War II in England with just repairing clothes, which hand stitching clothing is easy and it's a lot cheaper to buy a little bit of thread and some needles versus buying new clothes. And it's a valuable skill that you can learn. The internet's full of people trying to learn things and people trying to make content for you to learn from. And, and it can extend beyond clothing. I mean, I obviously I repair a lot of stuff in my life and just because something broke doesn't mean it's now useless, throw it away. It's like, well, maybe I can fix it or maybe I can t use it for something else. Uh, the last thing I, I'm gonna mention is 5S, which people that work in, in manufacturing facilities are gonna cringe a little bit at that because it's mismanaged so many times. So um, the, long, the long and short of it is everything has a place and everything is in its place. You cut through the clutter, you figure out what you need, you put things in places where you can easily access them, you know what you have, you 
put things back when you're done, you keep your work area or your living area clean and organized, and you spend less time tripping over obstacles or looking for things you need. You know what you have, you know what it's for. And the where 5S falls down and where it gets a bad name is the last S in 5S, which is sustain. In business, it's because there's a bunch of different people trying to come together and do things the same way when they all have different opinions and habits and personalities. It's a lot easier to do the sustain part of 5S in your own personal life and house because you get to pick the procedures and the habits that you do. So at the end of the night, if you set out clothes for the next day, make sure the dishes are washed, shower, and go to bed. That's a procedure. That's a standard way to operate. You know, so with 5S, and with minimalism and simplification in general, it's going to be up to you because you are responsible for your actions and how you choose to do things. In business, it's a whole network of people and supervisors and supervisees, and it's a mess. It's a lot easier at home. It's either going to be an instant success because you want it, or you're gonna give it a half-hearted attempt and it's gonna fail. In the end, you either want it or you don't. So that's my, my kind of philosophy on simplifying all this type of stuff and how to create time for yourself and how to improve the general quality of your life through you know, managing what things you do have and spending time on you know, the pursuit of knowledge or traveling or learning skills or whatever it may be that you want to do. You leave all the junk and clutter behind you and move on. Um, personally, for me, I have gotten rid of literal tons, thousands and thousands of pounds of junk. And uh, it's, it's made it a lot easier for me to see what I have, to use what I have, and it's improved my mental health a lot because I'm not worried about all the stuff that I need to do or might do or what if, and just in case, I don't have to worry about that as much anymore. I can just move forward with new adventures. So, uh, you know, if you've got a story, leave it down in the comments. If you've got any questions, let me know or search the internet, you know, like 5S, I barely touched it. There's, you could spend literally college course levels of time learning that if you wanted to. So thanks for watching. Bye.